Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. This is Mike from Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement. I don't have my refrigerator magnet business card to show you guys, so I'll show you this. <laughs> what do you think about that? It's official, official. See there, Mike's Magic Auto Detailing. How about that? How about that? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I got the wheels and tires all clean, stripped down, ready for their thing. So now I was going to do a pre rinse. And then, if y'all remember seeing them photos earlier, how hammered, hey, Mr. Brooks, how hammered and nasty this thing was. I was going to do a pre rinse first, which normally I don't do anymore. I go straight to the foam cannon. But I started spraying. I said, oh man, I got to do a quick video and show these folks <laughs> what this water behavior looks like with this titanium coating on it and the glass. So it's going to be a little noisy because I'm going to turn my pressure washer on and I'll be doing this one handed. But watch this water behavior, folks. <laughs> oh man. And it's pushing most of this dirt right off of this car I'm telling you with this titanium coating on it watch this watch this water behavior walk I mean that's what you want that sheeting action oh boy and you want those little bitty beads as opposed to the big ones I'm telling you, it just don't get much better than that. And this coating has been on here for a very long time, about a year or more. And it, I have not maintained it very well. <laughs> if I had maintained it properly. Uh, and I apologize for taking so long to get back to you guys. But I've been on the phone, on the phone, on the phone with customers. And watch this windshield. It has the titanium glass coating on it, which has been on it two years plus and it's only supposed to be a two-year coating and I didn't put but one coat on the windshield I didn't realize you're supposed to put two coats on the windshield but watch this water behavior I'm telling you what that's amazing I'm astounded that that coating is still working as well as it is that's crazy, crazy, crazy. And just pre-rinsing has knocked most of that nastiness that you guys may have seen in that earlier video. If you didn't, I highly suggest you go back and look at it. It's knocked most of that nastiness right off of here. Right off of here. There's still some. I'm going to do the contact wash, but it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Got all that factory whatever it is they put on them tires off and they had little painted red dots that they had put on there I guess it's for their purposes you know the tire soap wouldn't get it off but just a little bit of lacquer thinner and a microfiber tile that just wiped right off they used to do chalk marks but they don't do that anymore so anyway I was just going to show you guys real quick that water behavior that's astounding astounding I'm telling you guys, if you've done as many cars as I have, I'm telling you, <laughs> if, the, if I had put wax on that car, you would be getting nothing like that. Nothing. Or if you had, if I had put Rain-X on the windshield, unless I did it like a week ago, same thing. You would be getting nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing. You wouldn't be getting that water behavior like I'm getting. If I took my car dryer, it would just blow it right off of there. It would just push it right off. No big deal, which I will do. I don't dry with a towel anymore. I dry with my car dryer. It's forced air, heated, and filtered. Anyway, I appreciate you dropping by, Mr. Brooks. <laughs> and anybody else that may have dropped by, it's hard to tell on this thing sometimes. But I appreciate you guys. Like they say, you know, give me a thumbs up. A thumbs down it don't matter <laughs> like tag share follow subscribe all that stuff 
that water's still rolling off that windshield. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. I'll check you guys later. Thank you very much. Goodbye now.